Here's a tip you desire to know. Working with content. How do I add course content? Well, there's a few different ways that we can add content into our course. Let's define content first. Content can be files you upload from your computer, files you create in the D2L HTML editor on the fly. They could be links to files from your course or elsewhere on the internet. You can also add content using the Course Builder wizard. But for this tutorial, we're going to concentrate on using content via the link on the nav bar to add it into your course. So let's get started. So let's go to the content link here, open that up, and as you can see there's no content in my particular course here right now. First thing you want to do is try to figure out how you're going to build an outline. Visualize this as an outline. The content has two main pieces to it, a module and a topic. Now a module is just a category or a space holder. Topic is the actual file that you're going to upload or use and link, so to speak, within that content area to the particular file. So let's build a couple of modules just to show you how we can get started here. So I'm going to click on New Module and I'm going to put a title in. The first module I'm going to put in is Course Materials. Now this might be my syllabus, um, contact information, other things. I'm going to build one module here. I'm going to say Save and New so I can go right back into building another new module. This one I'm going to call Internet Sites. This might be links that I want that are relevant within my course. And I'm going to save and new this. And now I'm going to build one more module. And I'm going to call it Lecture Slides. And this might be particular slides, PowerPoints, presentations that I've done in class that I want my students to see. So I'm going to save this. You'll see what we have for um, modules. Go back to the Manage Content area. You'll see that I have three modules up there now. No topics, no files yet. So let's add a topic topic again is the file. I could add it choosing this link here, but I'm going to go right on this line over here. It's the same little icon if I point on this it says add topic. That way I know it's going to go right into this particular module. So I'm going to add my syllabus. I'm going to click on this. I have four different options. I'm going to create a new file, add a course file, upload a new file, a quick link. Since I already have my syllabus created in either a Word doc or a PDF, I'm going to upload it right now choose upload. I'm going to call it syllabus. You'll see that it's going into this module and I'm going to browse for this particular file on my computer. Once I browse I know I have it on my desktop so I'm going to search down through here and we'll see about syllabus here. And I've created one in a PDF style. I recommend doing files in PDF or um, HTML. It's much easier for the students to access and it's much easier sometimes for you to change it later on. So here's the file I'm going to upload. It's going to put it in this particular course path, which is going to be my Manage Files area on this particular course. So I'm going to say Save. And you'll see it added that file right here. Now let's go back to Manage Content and see what I've done. And there you have it. I've got a course materials module. I've got a syllabus file. If I want to see how the student actually sees this, click on View Content, and this is what the student sees. Now, they would click on this particular file, and it would open up. Again, just remember, this is just a link to the file. That is the content topic, and the file is actually sitting in my Manage Files area. Students don't see this area, but they see this area, the View Content. So let's go back to Manage Content. Another way I could add sites or topics, let's look at this module. Let's click on this icon and let's add a quick link. Maybe I've got an internet site I want to choose. Add that. I'm going to say let's look at the Wisconsin legislature and all I need is I'm going to go up here. I've already got this site picked out. I'm going to highlight this particular site, copy it with a control C, come back into D2L and I'm going to go into this URL line and I'm going to do a control V and paste that in there. And I'm going to choose preview it or view the content topic in a new window or tab so I won't bring them out of my course. Save it. Go back to manage content. Now you'll see that this particular topic here is a link. And you can see these little icons appear. This tells me it's a PDF, which is an actual file. This tells me it's a link and so forth. And if I wanted to add in my presentations or PowerPoints, I would just add topics in this particular um, module. So, 
Now, how do I change things? Well, if I wanted to change this syllabus, I would have to download this or go back to my computer, fix it on my computer, and then upload it again. Maybe I don't want this particular topic or this uh, module in my course now. Maybe I want to delete it. So I can highlight this, and I'm going to choose the delete, and I get two options. Delete the selected item from the content only, or delete the content and the file. So if I choose the first one, I'm just going to delete this. This link will be gone, but the file will still be sitting in my next files area. So if I want to delete the topic and the file, I'm going to choose this. I'm going to say delete selected and now you see that's gone and it's actually gone out of my manage files area. And there you have it.